I'm Sarah Courtney and I'm going to show you how to back comb or as some people call it tease. You can see that I've done a few sections previously here to create a base for an up style uh, but just to show you the right technique we take a small section or mesh of hair as some people or hairdressers will call it and we're wanting to hold it up. I've done a little bit of back combing here already. So the correct technique is to hold your comb. Best to use a metal ended tail comb. Great for sectioning and then the comb and the teeth being finer to get that um, good base there. Um, and we're doing it, you can see I've positioned my head block side on so you can see the motion. So we're wanting to do it in a circular motion. So pushing down the hair and taking the comb out. Going in, pushing down, going in, pushing down. And you can see if I'm to keep going in a circular motion, I can actually make that hair stand on end. I would do this sort of back combing in, back combing in the center of a style. If I'm doing the first panel here, I actually only do a little bit so you can see if I'm then to smooth down that front style, you get it to be a little bit neater through the front section. So just to show you again, if you're wanting more support to that style, you can use uh, like your powders. One that I like to use is your big sexy hair powder play. So you can put a little bit of that in your style to get a bit of grit to that but then also because it's on this next section it gives it a little bit more grit so circular motions again and rather than going up and down if you're going up and down it takes your back combing out and creates or, or actually makes more damage or gives more damage to the hair so your best to do your circular motion to keep your hair in the best condition, get the most support down the bottom of your base and your front sections when you're doing back combing to have less back combing to give a smoother outer finish. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe.